media premium track flip next track flip premium flip next quadro screen mirroring brightness 50% adjustable apps frequency mid frequency missing at landscape voice overall help help new game continue chapter 2 April 14th the chief has given me my first assignment I'm to interview Samuel Silverglands about the renovation and development of the Duke Silverglands Club. A lot of members are big shots. My boss among them. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I'm going to make the best story I can. I'm already on thin ice after that incident in the newsroom. Sadly, I didn't have time to do much research, but apparently Samuel Silverglands' father passed away about a month ago. Wow! Now I see why the club has Duke in its name. This place looks like something you'd find in a castle, with all the leather, mahogany, and paintings all over the place. The club's bartender. Hello, I'm Patricia from Radio IDUN. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? I suppose that's all right. I'm not too busy at the moment. My name's Victor. Buy drink. The club. Sam Samuel. The club. So what's it like here? Do you like your job? It doesn't pay much, but the status you get from working for such a fine establishment makes it worthwhile. I thought you'd get paid well, considering the high class of this place and all. You would think so, yes. It started to unravel a bit lately. That's why they're opening a new restaurant to make more money. That sounds like an interesting story. What more can you tell me? I've I've said too much already. Buy drink. The club. Samuel. I'm supposed to interview Samuel, but I can't seem to find him. Do you know where he is? He might turn up soon. There's a lot of work to do before the grand opening. Buy drink. Uh, can I get a drink? What are you having? Cognac. Uh, cognac, please. My pleasure. Bye, drink. Goodbye. Thank you so much, Victor. Wow, wow. The door to the lounge. A lounge with books, a pool table, and expensive armchairs to relax in. Smells of alcohol. Hello, I'm Patricia from Radio IDUN. Would you mind answering a few questions? Ah, from Radio IDUN. Why, yes, I'm Oscar Silverglans, and I would gladly answer your questions. If only my throat wasn't so dry. Oscar Silverglans, are you related to Samuel? Sadly, he is my brother. The club. Samuel. Give drink. Mmm. Ah, oh, a fine cognac with such aromatic complexities. What was it you wanted to talk about? The club. Goodbye. Goodbye. The club. What do you think about the club? Ah, uh, Samuel started to renovate the place, and it's turned out rather nice, even if he doesn't listen to my suggestions. He doesn't listen to you? I am part owner, after all. All three of us are, you know. But Samuel has ruled with an iron fist ever since he inherited most of our father's fortune. Didn't she receive an equal share? No. Father handed most of it over to Samuel. Now Sylvia and I have to live on what our dear brother provides. Goodbye. The club. Samuel. I'm looking for your brother Samuel. Do you know where he is? 
Uh, who did you say you were again? Patricia, from Radio IDUN. I'm here to interview him. Oh, right, right, yeah. He, he mentioned something about that. Uh, rather, he bragged about how he was going to be on the radio. I can't find him. Do you know where he is? Yes, uh, would you like me to get him? Yes. Yes, please. Unless it's too much of a bother. Uh, hold on. I'll call him for you. He'll be at the bar in a minute. If you don't get any good answers from that wretch, you could always ask him about our father's foundation. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you very much. The door to the bar. Oh, Samuel is here. Now I can get my interview. Hello, I'm Patricia from Radio IDUN. It's about time you showed up. Interview. Goodbye. Interview. Do you have time for the interview now? Yes, that's fine. The family. Your f your the family. The restaurant. The club. What can you tell me about the Duke Silverglands Club? I started it 20 years ago. You started it by yourself? I thought your siblings were part owners. Just because a piece of paper says so doesn't mean they did anything. I built this club from the ground up. The restaurant. The club. The rest. The family. The restaurant. And you'll soon be opening a new restaurant that'll be open to non-members as well. What's your view on the future? I thought it was time to do something new and the restaurant business is very lucrative. So it's about money? Don't put words in my mouth. You will cut that from the interview. <clears throat> um, I felt it was time to give something back to the community. My father was a very generous man, and so am I. The family. I talked to your brother earlier. Don't listen to a word he says. So... That's enough about my brother. The family. Your father. I realize this is a touchy subject, but I think the listeners would want to hear about your father, who passed away last month. You inherited most of his fortune. I don't hear a question. I'm wondering how this affects the club and the new restaurant. Plans for the development have been in place for a long time. With the inheritance, I was able to realize them. That's all I will say about my father. This wasn't very interesting. Maybe I should ask him about the foundation. Can you tell us a little bit about your father's foundation? I don't want to talk about that. It'll be a better story, and it's something I think our listeners will want to hear about. I don't think so. Trust me, it'll be great. All right, but keep it short. Thank you. Can you tell me what kind of foundation it is? <laughs> if you haven't even bothered to find out yourself, I'm not going to tell you. No, I only, I only thought it would sound better if you were the one telling the listeners about it instead of me. Well, all right. My father created the Silver Glans Foundation to help the less fortunate. It was something he cared deeply about. Thank you. So, why was it that he gave all the money to you without providing something for the Foundation? That's not something I want to discuss. This was supposed to be about my restaurant, not my personal affairs. Your radio station's reputation seems very exaggerated since they said an amateur like you. This interview is over. A sensitive subject, apparently. I can't leave this place without a real interview. Samuel didn't say much before he stormed off. There has to be someone around who can give me a good story. I guess I can snoop around a bit while I'm here. Richard had a member's card for the VIP room. I could start there.
the lounge. <coughs> the door to the kitchen. A reporter has to be willing to go where she is not welcome. A restaurant kitchen. I didn't know there were so many different kinds of pots and pans. Oh, there's an elevator as well. I wonder where it leads. A rather large chef. Hi, I'm Patricia. Do you have a moment? <laughs> a moment? We'll have to talk while I'm working. The club. The VIP room. The club. What do you think about the club? Yeah, it's really stressful. I don't understand how Mr. Silverglanz expects me to cook for all the guests in the new restaurant, too. There's no way I can manage it by myself. The VIP room. Can you help me get into the VIP room? Why would I do that? Can't you see I've got my hands full? I'm from radio... Uh, quiet, I I'm getting an order. Give me a sirloin steak with red wine sauce. Oh, I haven't got time to listen to the radio. I've got to get those orders ready for the VIP room. The waiter is ill today, and it's going to take me half the day to carry the food up all those stairs. There's an elevator over there. Can't you use that? You don't think I know about the elevator? Yes, it goes up to the VIP room, but the engine is busted. According to Mr. Silverglanz, an engineer is on the way. He's been saying that for the last three weeks. The club. The VIP... The club. Goodbye. Thank you very much. The service elevator to the VIP room. It's broken. Stairs to a basement. Maybe a food cellar? A dark basement. What are you doing here, Patricia? This must be the elevator engine the chef mentioned. Maybe I should try to fix it. Yes. All right, let's see. I'll try the on button and we'll see what happens. I guess not. It just spun around once and stopped. There are a few different buttons to press here. I wonder what they do. The engine is sputtering. It's not running with full power yet. It's gaining power! Nope, that's not right. I'll test the on button again. One. Two. Almost there. Four, that's it. Yes, it's working. First Richard safe, now an elevator engine. I'm really on a roll. The stairs to the kitchen. The chef. Hello. The club. The elevator. I managed to fix the elevator. I have to thank you. How in the blazes did you pull that off? It was really technical, but I've picked up a few things over the years. Well, if my hands weren't so sticky, I'd give you a big hug. How am I ever going to repay you? Well, could I ride upstairs in the elevator and check out the VIP room? Yes, of course. The club. Goodbye. Thank you very much. The service elevator. Should I go to the VIP room? Yes. 
Here we go! I'm gonna do the interview of the decade with someone up there! I'm finally in the VIP room! They spared no expense decorating this place. A bearskin on the floor, silk curtains in the windows, and everyone is really dressed up. I hope I can get a good interview with someone here. Oh, yes. I don't like all the people around here. An older woman, fashionably dressed in a beautiful red dress. Hello, I'm Patricia. Do you have a moment? Hello, Patricia. I'm Sylvia Silverglanz. Oh, really? Is Samuel your brother? That is correct. But it's not something I normally advertise. What's on your mind? The club. About you. About you. Can you tell me more about yourself? <laughs> well, these days there's not much more to say. Oh, what do you mean? I've worked with the Silver Glans Foundation for most of my life. It's very interesting and satisfying work. But now I'm retired, apparently, so I mainly sit here, passing the time. Oh my. The club. What do you think about the club? Why do you ask? I'm from Radio IDUN, and I'm doing a story about the Foundation. My interview with Samuel, it didn't go so well. Well, in that case, this is more or less my prison. Are they keeping you here against your will? After Samuel inherited all of Father's fortune, I had no choice but to stay on his good side. <gasps> oh, that sounds so dramatic. Do you mind if I do an interview with you? Well, absolutely. I have a lot to say. When do you want to start? Start now. All right. Well, let's start the interview. What do you want to know? The renovation. More about the club. More about the club. More about the club. More about the cl What can you tell me about the Duke Silverglands Club? My brother Samuel opened it 20 years ago. He wanted to create a club that the richest of the rich would travel to from all over. I can understand why you would like to be a member. It's a really beautiful and nice place. Nice? As long as you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. The staff is mostly underpaid, repairs don't get done, and the members are starting to leave. The renovation. What's your view on the restoration? Opening a restaurant to the public is just Samuel's strategy to avoid bankruptcy. So where does the money come from? From father's inheritance. Money, I think, should be spent on better things than keeping this monstrosity going. The renovation. The foundation. What can you tell me about the Silver Glands Foundation? <sighs> well, sadly, it's been forced to shut down. It was Father's jewel, but Samuel isn't interested in giving anything away. It's odd that Father gave it all to Samuel. I don't understand it. So you're surprised with the distribution of the inheritance? Yes. He was always so determined that the foundation would continue after his death. He and Samuel never saw eye to eye, and he hated this club. Too expensive, too snobby, and completely absurd, he would say. Laced with a little profanity, that is. <laughs> what do you think made him change his mind? Well, I don't believe anything could have made him change his mind about that. Samuel must have forced him in some way. But now my beloved father is dead, so there's nothing I can do. <sighs> I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. <clears throat> you there. What do you think you're doing? It's okay. She's interviewing me. You're not in charge here, Sylvia. Security! In here! Please escort this insolent girl out of here. I can walk by myself. Sorry. It's my job. Well, at least I got one juicy interview. Back to the office for editing. And now, over to a report on the exclusive Duke Silverglans Club, which is about to open a new restaurant for non-members. Huh. She could have at least mentioned my name. What can you tell me about the Duke Silverglans Club? The Duke Silverglans Club is my jewel and my passion. I want people to come here and forget about their troubles. It's a really beautiful and nice place. I'm extremely pleased to hear you say that. What? That's not my interview. <gasps> Those are my questions to Sylvia, but it's Samuel who's answering.
Chapter Three. Something fishy is going on. First, Richard disappears, and then someone edits my segment. I'd better call the club and ask Sylvia if she knows what happened to the interview. The Duke Silver Glands Club, Victor speaking. Hello, Victor. It's Patricia from Radio IDUN. Hello. How may I help you? I'd like to talk to Sylvia. Is she there? Now's not a good time. Why is that? Samuel is furious with Sylvia and the whole staff. It's probably best if you don't come here ever again. Good luck. What do you mean? I'm glad I called instead of walking over there. Someone edited my segment, but who? I'll check around the office and see if anyone knows anything. Carl's not here, but he'll probably be here shortly. Voice override. Landscape. Frequency missing. Direct. Portrait. Control center. Volume. Six. Low power mode. Music recognition. Music recognition. Low selected. Screen recording. 